nutritional savant. How are you, sir? <laughs> What's going on? How you doing, Robert? I have to balance your feet every time I talk to you like everybody else. Boy, you got no. a big head down there in Colorado. I can see it from here. <laughs> I'm just a pharmacist, my man. I'm just a plain old, little old pharmacist guy. What's going on? Yeah, how can I help whatever. you? Whatever. Thank You're you so for humble. the. Thank you. I appreciate that. But how can I help you? Uh, yeah, two things. Uh, can you give me the titles of one or two good books that you have personal experience with on proteins so I can do a little research? I, you know, I read textbooks. That's how I get my information. So I could give you some of the names, uh, textbooks, but they don't really matter. But I'll tell you, you know what? Good, really, uh, one of the good, one of the best basic books on protein is a book called Protein Power by a guy named Michael Eads, who's a physician here in Colorado. I think he's in Boulder, okay. actually. Uh, e A D E S, okay. and he has a series of books about protein. Uh, but the basic book, the first book that he came out with, is called Protein Power, and it's a wonderful book about protein. And then there's a couple of paleo books. Uh, and I'm not really big on the whole paleo thing for a couple of reasons, but uh, there are some good paleo books that talk about protein. Uh, a guy named uh, Rob Wolf talks about protein a lot. Uh, that's W O L F F. Uh, yeah, those are, those are a couple that come to mind. Protein Power is probably my go-to source. That was one of the first books I read that you know, talked about the importance of dietary protein. Dr. Michael okay. Eads. He's got a and website too with a lot of good information. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry. You went over proteins deeply in December. I got to go back in your archives and review those. I'll be talking about uh, more next week too. Cool. Um, second thing is, uh, I'm five nine, about a buck ninety, fifty three years old. Weightlifter? Uh, are you are you lifting weights? No, or? I haven't touched weights lately, but I plan on. I'm gonna get a membership pretty quick. Um, and uh, my last time I checked my blood pressure, which was several months ago, was 140 over 90, so that's high. I think I'm hypo or hyperglycemic because I get up in the middle of the night and pee and all I right. wake up, so my sugar's all over the place. All right, all right. You, got my, uh, you got some yeah, work to do. You got some work to do, Robert. Yeah, yeah. All right, so you want some my, help? Uh, um, you, I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. need any more of the grim details. I, I get the picture there. Do you need, <laughs> do you want, uh, do you want uh, some help with all that? Yeah, yeah. All right, first things first, we'll, we'll make you a little, we'll just use you as a poster child for how you handle and this. The BTT is obvious. I'll the BTT is yeah. obvious, but we want, you yeah. got to focus on anything that's getting into, any pro-inflammatory stuff that's getting into the body. That's always the first yeah. thing. Yeah. So if you have any kind of, you want to look for digestive problems. I mean, they go under mm-hmm. the radar, so you may have to start paying mm-hmm. attention. After 50 years, you know, a lot of things go under the radar. We start to tune things out. So, sure. so you got to really focus on digestive problems, and it's in your interest to find them. So if you have mm-hmm. gas or bloating, heartburn, any kind of of bowel movement yeah. problems, anything like that. Yeah. It's in your interest right, to sure. find them. Link them up to foods, okay? That's yeah. number one. Secondly, make sure that you're staying away from anything that spikes your blood sugar. That's the second most. Next to, next to controlling digestive or stabilizing the digestive system, controlling blood sugar is the most important thing to do. That means more protein. I coffee so I can get out. Well, hang on, hang on. Don't, don't, don't hang on, though, Robert. The coffee's not the end of the world. There's a lot more important things to focus on than the coffee, oh, especially okay. sugar. So bread, pasta, rice, potatoes, starchy gotcha. foods, fruit juice, desserts, all of those you want to stay away from as best as possible. I'm not saying that you have to be zero tolerance, although that would be great, but just weaning yourself off of those and replacing the intake, the caloric intake, the calories that you're getting from those kinds of foods with protein, especially whey protein and egg protein, which are your two most important building proteins. Meat protein is okay if you can you know, make sure that the meat's organic and, and uh, hormone-free and all that, but really whey and egg should be the core of your protein intake uh, and then okay. seafood as well. Uh, but you got these days, unfortunately, of course, you got to be careful of seafood. So whey and egg, seafood, and meat are uh, those should be the core of your pro- uh, of where you're getting pr- your protein from. And then making sure you get fats, too, especially essential fatty acid fats. Uh, uh, ultimate EFAs, I'd be doing a nine, or so the, nine or so of those a day. And then uh, the third important point on, on our triangle, because that's what we're really working with here, is the adrenal glands. And the blood sugar thing is going to help stabilize the adrenal glands. But making sure you're getting enough minerals and salt is also important. This is where the healthy start pack comes in. This is where all the plant-derived minerals comes in, come in. And this is also where where Celtic sea salt can play a very important role, and Himalayan salt, where you put a okay. teaspoon of Celtic sea salt in water, especially if you're craving salt. If you find yourself craving salt, that's a real indicator that your adrenal glands are stressed. And if the adrenal glands are stressed out, you're not going to be building. So you've got three sure. places to work, uh, physically anyway, uh, food, staying away from pro-inflammatory, pro-inflammatory food, stabilizing the blood sugar by using more protein and essential fatty acids, the ultimate EFAs. It wouldn't hurt you to get on the sweeties in addition to uh, the other stuff in the healthy start. Yeah, sweeties. And, Sweeties, and then also uh, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and Celtic Sea Salt and Himalayan Salt. And make sure you're doing your deep breathing techniques. Make sure you're practicing sure. what I call hot tub therapy, which is where you relax 
where you activate the parasympathetic nervous system, the relaxation nervous system, and I call it hot tub therapy, but you don't need a hot tub. Hot water is great. Deep breathing is great. Laying on the couch and relaxing is great. How cool is it, folks? And Robert, how cool is it that our body does its best work when we're laying down uh, on the couch or when we're sinking, uh, sinking in a hot tub? If, you're, if you make this sound, listen to the sound. I'm going to make it right now. Listen to the sound. Ah. If you make that sound, you've activated the parasympathetic nervous system. Anything you could do to make that sound, and you can use your imagination of all the things you could do to make that sound like this. Ah, just like that. Okay. If you go like this, if you go like this, like that, you've activated the yeah. sympathetic nervous system. And, and by the way, you need a little sympathetic activity. You need a little stress in your life because that's really what sure. gets the impetus. That's really what initiates the growth. But the growth actually occurs when you're going, ah, like that. And even just saying that, even just making that sound, will activate the relaxation nervous system. Thanks so much for your call and your kind words, Robert. I appreciate it. Thanks, bud. All right, buddy. Be good. Have a beautiful day. All right. Let's see who's next. Next on the line, go to Oregon and say hi to Gina. What's up, Gina? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi. Hi good morning, Dan. Thanks for good taking morning. my call. Sure. And I just have, I just have one quick question for you. Sure. Can you help uh, on um, the uh, ingredients label for like skincare product and over counter drugs, you know, stuff like yeah, that? Yeah. There's a few more. items in there. One is um, active ingredient. Another one is an active ingredient. Oh yes. I understand. Yeah, can you? Yeah, you want to explain you explanation on that? That's a yeah. great question. Yeah. I actually do a class. Yeah, I actually do a class on how to read an ingredient deck on skincare products, and that's a very, very important question, uh, Gina. I'm glad you brought that up. Hang tight, though. We got to take okay. a break, okay? After you're on hold, we'll try to get to all our calls today. Eight five five six six zero forty two sixty one is our number. I am pharmacist Ben, and you're listening to the Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. It's Tom Chenault from the Tom Chenault Show. We are experts in home-based business and residual income. We show people how to make money from their home, either part-time or full-time. And in partnership with Genesis Communication Network, we've organized a team to fight back about people not having money, time, or health. And we need your help. What we want you to do is if you've got an interest in building an organization to fight back against people taking our money, taking our time, and taking our health, we want to talk to you. All you need to do is call this number, 855-308-8326. Again, all you want to do is call 855 308 Eight three two six. You can make a tremendous amount of money and end up fighting for a great cause. Please call us right now. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. If you owe the IRS back taxes, listen carefully. Sweeping changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever eliminate their tax debts once and for all. And now, thanks to Dan Pillow, you can get the tax help you need to end your tax nightmare. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla. I've helped thousands of people reduce or eliminate tax debts they couldn't pay. And after more than 30 years of experience dealing with the IRS, I can tell you there's no such thing as a hopeless tax case. 
With the IRS's new policies, it's easier than ever to put your tax debt behind you once and for all. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. Call 800-346-6829. Learn how I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light System system today complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231 and the Berkey guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey light, the Berkey guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653 or order online at goberkey.com. That's goberkey.com today. The nation's largest independently owned and operated talk radio network. The Genesis Communications Network. GCN. Bright side, I'm, uh, hey, Gina, Gina in Oregon. We're talking to Gina about ingredient decks. Gina, I'm going to go real fast because I, I got a bunch of folks on the line. I want to try to get everybody in. Yeah, okay. Please. So in a, that's a very good question about the ingredient decks. First of all, everybody should be reading ingredient decks. Thanks. Uh, uh, good point, Gina, and I'm glad to see that you're an ingredient deck, deck reader. It shows that you're a smart consumer. We all need to be in, uh, reading these Thank ingredient you. decks. <laughs> There's two kinds of drugs. There are two classes of drugs. There's over-the-counter drugs, and these are the kind of drugs that you get in a, in a drugstore over-the-counter, obviously. And then there's behind-the-counter drugs, and those are the drugs you need a prescription for. The over-the-counter drugs, by uh, mandate of the FDA, have to have their ingredients divided into two sections. One section is called active ingredients, and these are the ingredients in the dr- over-the-counter drug, the antihistamine or the cough syrup or whatever it is you're buying, sunscreen. Uh, sunscreens are over-the-counter drugs. Uh, the active ingredient will tell you what is actually the medicine in the product, the inactive ingredients will tell you what are the so-called excipients or the vehicles or the carriers or the non-active ingredients. And this is how you can tell whether something is being regulated by the FDA as a drug. You look on the back and if you see it has two sets, uh, two types of ingredients, active ingredients and inactive ingredients, then you know that is a substance that is regulated as a drug and it is uh, being uh, uh, licensed and, and watched over by the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration. So look on the back. If you see active ingredient, inactive ingredients, you know you got your an over-the-counter drug. The inactive ingredients are not necessarily inactive. They just don't do the medicinal thing that the product is supposed to do, but you can still be, you can still have inactive ingredients that are doing something, and that, uh, just because they're called inactive doesn't mean they're inert. It doesn't mean they don't do anything at all. It just means they don't have any medicinal value in terms of what that product is supposed to do. But you still got to pay attention, in my opinion, to inactive ingredients, especially preservatives, like the parabens, which are considered to be inactive ingredients. The active ingredient... Uh, when you see, first of all, you, if you see a division between active and inactive, you know you got a drug. The active ingredient will tell you what the medicinal compound is, and the inactive ingredient will tell you what the vehicle or the carrier or the the um, excipient ingredients are. Does that help you, Gina? Yeah, and can I have one more question for the case? Sure, so let's say if I see the um, the uh, the compound, you know, in the under the in, in active ingredients, yeah. like for example, glycolic acid, does it mean you know um, it's not going to be effective for? No, 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 no. It just means it's not part of the medicinal value. It doesn't contribute to the okay. medicinal value of the product. If it's in there in the inactive, it could still do something, but it's not going to do something for, in terms of what the product is supposed to do. It may have another type of effect. Glycolic acid, typically, however, isn't going to be found.
found in a uh, in a drug product. I don't think. Or did you see it in a drug product, an over-the-counter drug? No, no, not the drug, but some um, um, skincare product I'm looking at. So that's why I want to ask. Skincare products are not regulated. The only skincare products that will have inactive active division on the ingredient deck are things like hemorrhoid products, maybe eczema or itch uh-huh. products, burn products, um, acne products, sunscreens. Other than that, you're not in cosmetic products for wrinkles and that kind of thing. You're not going to find. Uh, you're not going to find uh, that division of inactive and active. I got to so, move on, Gina. Okay. okay so. I, I got to move on. Thanks so much for your call. Appreciate it. I, I hate leaving you guys on hold, so I'm going to try to get to everybody here today. Uh, but I'm going to. Um, we'll have to move fast. Mindy in Ohio, what's up? Welcome to the bright side. This is fantastic. Um, I think Faith brought me to uh, my ears to 